Hello everybody, welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we are talking about an English toffee tea and the Twisby Eco. The description of this tea reads, need a toffee break? The rich and decadent all natural blend of pu'er tea, cocoa and caramel is the perfect sweet tea. The best part, at next to no calories, it's virtually guilt free. As weird as that sounds, it actually tastes delicious. Um, this literally, you, you can't get better description than English toffee. It tastes like liquid toffee. It is certainly a sweet tea, that's for sure. You don't really need any added sugar or anything to like that. And the reason, it is a uh, pu'er tea. Oops, just dropped some on my desk. Um, the reason why you don't need any sugar or anything like that is because there's little chunks, little tiny cubes um, of caramel in it. This is one of the few teas where I don't add anything to it. No milk, no sugar, no anything. Just drink it as is. I usually put about a tablespoon and a bit um, into each cup. Um, and I do about 205 degrees um, Celsius for the water. And I let it steep for about seven minutes. This is a bit longer that I like this one to steep for. Um, and the reason why I enjoy it to steep longer um, is because I really want those caramel bits to melt and mix in with everything. Um, if you don't let it steep very long, um, then you'll still get a sweet tea. Just the flavor won't be as pronounced. You won't really get that toffee flavor. I believe it's 795 for 50 grams. So now that we are drinking that delicious, delicious tea, let's jump into the Twisby Eco. So the Twisby Eco is very interesting. Um, I say interesting because it has a ton of pros about this. And the biggest one is the price. It is a very, very affordable price, um, especially considering it is a piston fill. Typically, a piston filler will be significantly more expensive, um, but Twisby has actually kind of upset that notion um, that piston fills cost more um, because as far as I'm aware every one of their fountain pens is a piston fill except for the VAC 700 and now the new VAC uh, Mini um, but even those like vacuum fillers are typically more expensive um, but Twisby always sells them significantly cheaper um, so that's a a brilliant um, pro of the Twisby Eco. Um, so if you're looking for a cheaper piston fill or you've never used a piston fill but you want to check it out, definitely look into something like this. Um, it's definitely portable. It's not too large. Um, I consider myself to have average size hands, but if I hold it up to the Platinum 3776 um, that I reviewed last time, it is ever so slightly taller by maybe a millimeter um, but essentially the same size so it's not a, a huge pen but it's definitely not a teeny weeny little pen um, if you get up I hold it up next to the Waterman Hemisphere this is a tiny pen um, so this is what I would consider it to be average sized it is extraordinarily easy to maintain and the reason being is you can pull the nib and the feed out um, and you could use like an ink syringe like this where you could just like put it all put it in here and then like flush it with water and it'd be super easy to clean but what Twisby offers that not a lot of other people do is they offer a wrench this wrench happens to be um, I should hold it the right way the metal one you do not get a metal one with the Twisby Eco. You get a plastic one. You also get a bottle of silicone grease. Um, basically nothing on it is in English other than the words silicone grease. Um, and the reason why you get the Twisby wrench is because when you unscrew the piston, so when you move that piston knob down, you're gonna create a little gap in between here. And you can actually pop the Twisby wrench on and essentially use it like a normal wrench. So you just pull it all the way around and you can remove this whole section here. So you can completely disassemble this pen 
and then they give you that silicone grease. So when you put it back together, you can grease up the piston for easy maneuvering. Um, so that's really convenient. And I, like I said, they do that essentially free of charge. I mean, you know, it's going to be built into the price, but the price is so reasonable that I can't imagine they're really charging you much for it. And the other really good pro to this is that the clip is really nice. It's the perfect amount of stiffness to spring as far as being able to use it. Um, and you definitely know that it's not going to fall out. Now, with all good things come some bad. Um, for me, that's the nib. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Twisby nibs. Reason being is because they are extraordinarily stiff. Um, especially for steel nibs. They are pretty darn stiff. Um, stiffer than the Pilot Metropolitan, stiffer than even the Lamy's. And the Lamy nibs are pretty dang stiff as well. But these guys, all of them, I have one, two, six different Twisbees. Um, and all of them, the nibs are on the drier side. Um, and the reason why is because the tines are super, super tight together. Um, so it doesn't allow the ink to flow the way that I would like it. So every time I get a Twisby, I do have to keep in mind that I'm gonna have to work with the nib a little bit to widen those tines um, so that I can increase the flow. You still can't do anything about the stiffness of the nib. Um, so they're not generally my go-to pens. Um, and if you use a drier ink, then they can sometimes, for me, clog the nib a little bit. They'll get kind of like crusty. Um, so that I don't really enjoy as much. Um, and the other thing is that the designs are okay. There's nothing spectacular about the look of this. Um, you can get ones that are black cap as well. And they are coming out very soon with clear caps. Um, so just like how... This whole pen here is clear. You can see through it. You'll be able to see through the cap as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, but that said, all their pens pretty much look the same. Um, same kind of design, really. Um, the Twisby Classic is probably the farthest out of that design, but even then, it still kind of keeps that same general shape. Um, so, I mean, that probably doesn't bother most people. Um, but it's just something to consider. Um, so let's jump into the writing sample. So this pen definitely performs adequately. Um, it's not often that you get any skips or um, hard starts. Occasionally I'll get a hard start um, with some of my Twisby pens, this one included, um, but rarely skipping or anything. Um, it's wet enough so that some ink, depending on what you're using, um, will be able to show like shading and stuff like that. Um, this one in particular is Noodler's Cayenne, so it happens to be a relatively wet ink. Um, I try and put wet inks in my Twisby pens uh, because they do tend to be a little on the dry side. Um, this one is on the dry side, but not as bad as some of my other Twisbys. Um, but I do kind of work on my nibs just a little tiny bit um, to increase the flow. Um, I never really have a problem with smoothness or anything like that. They're always smooth, um, especially I find like the medium ones, which this one is. But they are absolutely hard like really hard. Um, you can get a little bit of line variation, but really you mainly just get like added wetness. You don't really get much line variation. Um, reverse is not really anything you can't reverse right. Um, the This nib I believe is a number five nib. It's certainly not a number six. I think it's a number five. Um, so you can't switch it out and Twisby does not sell any 
replacement nibs uh, for this pen either. So just be careful when you order it to make sure that you do get the one that you want. Um, otherwise, make sure whoever you're ordering it from um, has a good enough return policy that you can change it. Um, because unlike the other Twisbees, um, like I said, you can't replace the nib. But as for like an everyday writer, this is the better of all the Twisbees that I have. Um, the nibs, like I said, on the other ones are a little bit stiffer. Um, and I, I mean, I enjoy the Twisby 580, um, especially the aluminum one. I have the orange one. I enjoy that. Um, I like the look and the, the feel of it a little bit better. Um, but I would really, like, if you've never experienced a Twisby before, I would really highly recommend that you check this one out um, before any of the others. Not only because it's going to be your cheapest option to get, you know, the same amount of ink, um, but because, you know, it is a pretty pretty decent writer and I would recommend it. Um, just know again that you have to work on your nibs a little bit um, basically by doing what I'm doing right now over and over and over again um, to widen the tines to allow the flow to come out a little bit more. Um, but other than that, I think that about covers it. So guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, don't be afraid to leave comments below. I do answer them all. Uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you've yet to do so. Alright guys, I'll see you next week.